Valley Haven Homes and Keller Williams here today, and I am with John and Iris Vanilli at Texas Amps and Axes Shop and School of Music. We are in downtown Prosper, so we're going to talk about a few things today. We're going to talk about construction because we feel like we have to. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> the construction's almost over, guys. Um, so close. Yeah, very, so very close. Soon. Very, very soon. soon. These guys are right here on Broadway Street. What is your physical address? 117 West Broadway Street, Suite B. Awesome. They are basically across the street from the gym. So when you come downtown, there is parking. Don't be scared. Um, you're definitely going to want to come in here. They have an amazing shop, and you probably don't even know that they're here, especially if you're new to town. So we want you guys to learn a little bit more about them because um, I think you're going to want to stop by for sure. So you guys, tell me a little bit about your business. How long you've been here, a little bit about what you guys do. Awesome. Uh, so we actually just had our three-year anniversary on January 30th of this year. So it's pretty exciting for us. If I wanted to bring my child in here, why would I want to come here? What, what would make me want to come here and then what makes you want to stay? We take an, an, an extra uh, effort to get to know our families and really love on our, our kids and our teachers and our parents. We try to build an atmosphere that is welcoming to everybody that comes in the door. Um, and it's, it's fun, it's, it's personable, and everybody comes away, you know, better once, once they get through with their lesson. Yeah, it's, for us, it's always just been really, really important to build relationships. We're not just gonna be the place where you come and go. Like, we're, we work really hard to get to know, not just our students who are in there, but their siblings, they're, and they never leave without me here, without me telling them, make good choices. <laughs> I love the parents or the kids? Both. Both. <laughs> yeah, it, I, I, I try to base it on my audience, so for some it's the parents, I've got to remind, but some it's the students. So. <laughs> so, so you guys also have summer camps coming up, which I know is important. I hear all those mamas, I see them on Facebook every day. What the heck do I do with my kid this summer? Yes, you bring them here. Uh, right. So we have a wide variety of camps. We've got a worship band camp, which I'm really excited. That's really a new cool. one. Um, so we have a lot of kids who have entry level skills mm -hmm. already, but want to do some performing. So we're going to do a worship band camp this year. I'm super excited about that. We've got piano camps. We even have some that are geared towards really, really young kiddos. So I'm talking birth to age three. Oh, wow. um, okay. So we actually have the music garden program here, and that is the leader in early childhood musical education. So we're very proud to offer a music garden curriculum here. And so we'll be doing camps for that. We'll have ukulele and guitar and songwriting. Yes. Oh, uh, we'll have some voice camps. Camp last year. Yes, yes. So um, they are going to be up on our website, and um, they go quickly. <laughs> so yeah, I guess they yes. do. So tell, tell us your website. It is school .com. Awesome. And of course, that's in the Facebook post as well. Because yes. um, you guys have grown so much, yes. and you just completed a bunch of really new cool space yeah. so tell us a little bit about how many rooms do you have because I was amazed when I walked in of course this room is awesome yeah. you gotta gotta come in and just see all the amazing guitars on the wall and the cool stuff I'm looking at yeah. but then we went upstairs and there's just how many rooms there's 13 total now so when we started we had five, five. and yes. then we grew so much by the end of our first year, not even our first year, like halfway through, we've yeah. grown way more than we anticipated. We ended up doing construction. We went to seven rooms, and then we went to eight rooms, and now we're at 13. <laughs> Put on an entire addition. Yeah. And oh my goodness. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So um, we've been really blessed with just continuous growth in the community, and it's been such a blessing and an, and an honor that people um, enjoy coming here so much. So the support, the overwhelming support of our community it's too. Incredible, yeah. incredible. Yes. So um, we, um, so we have 18 teachers on staff, um, and for a wide variety of instruments, uh, we're genres, genres, and genres, styles, styles yes. personalities. Oh yeah. <laughs> so honestly, I mean, if, if a mom is sitting at home and she's watching this, or dad. Right. Uh, mom and dad sit at home and they're like, yeah, I really want my child to learn, like, I can almost pick any instrument, mm -hmm. right? There's a handful. Yes. We actually talked about the list. It's easier oh to say goodness. what you don't teach than what you do <laughs> yes. because the list is yes. so long. Yes. 
Um, so they can check out your website and right. learn a lot more about that. Right. Absolutely. But um, guys, I mean, the list is really, it really is crazy. They named like five instruments that they don't, <laughs> that they don't teach. Um, but we will at some point. Right. I promise. We're, we're, right. we're committed. We're committed. Teachers that will teach all of those ones we can. Yes. Okay. Awesome. Yes. But also not just to um, parents of kiddos. We love working oh, with adults. adults. We oh, love yeah. working with yes. adults. Even so, the musically challenged even ones musically that challenged. he claims he yes, can teach. Absolutely. I believe our youngest is four and our oldest is uh, in their 60s, 70s. Our youngest is your son who is uh, taking, three. who's three. And I'm, I'm is taking, thinking, <laughs> I'm the taking the piano lessons. Lesson, so, um, and then awesome. we have, um, we do have a huge range. Okay. And an age. Yeah. It didn't even occur to me for an adult to start <laughs> taking music lessons because yes. that's have, how musically challenged I am. Yes. And that's okay. We have, se- yeah, we have several adults and yes. they are blossoming. That's mm-hmm. good. And yes. The best part um, about adult students though is they're so incredibly self-deprecating about the <laughs> learning process and it's incredibly entertaining. <laughs> but overall what we have seen is it it's just a mask. Yes. They are so talented and able to learn. So that phrase, you can't teach an old dog new tricks. So not, not true. true. So not true. So is there, is, there is hope for you yet, Holly. There is hope for you I think, yet. I think I always called me old. I know. We are just beautifully <laughs> or, a mature, like a or a dog. Or a dog. Like a fine wine. <laughs> Oh, awesome. Guys, thank you so much for sitting down with me today. I really appreciate your time. Absolutely. Thank you for stopping by. Yeah. Yeah, and I'm super excited. I know you guys hopefully will get a big rush on those summer camps. Yes, so ma'am. they need to go sign up. Like, go right sign now. up. Yes. They'll move right back. Yes. Cool. Yes. Great. Thanks, guys. No, thank, thank you. you.